What's going on, everybody? I'm here with Randy Field. Randy, how's it going? It is going great. This is how, a lot of everything. <laughs> Everything's good. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. How's camp and uh, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Um, camp has been great. Camp has been smooth. Um, I started working from home. So this, uh, the transition, you know, coming, working from home now, it's everything's really smooth and i um, grateful for how things have been. Yeah. Last time I talked to you, I think it was in December for your last fight. And yeah. then that fight got canceled and you went through camp and everything like that. How like, is that more mentally or physically draining or kind of both to, to go through that much hard work and then for a fight to cancel? Uh, I feel like everything is mentally hard on me. Um, it definitely mentally hard. Um, but I said I was able to get around, get through it because, you know, Christmas was around the corner and I got to spend time with my family and spoil my kids. And that's really what helped me get through that. You didn't know it was canceled when you interviewed me, did you? No, I didn't. Yeah. I was like, I guess, uh, I, I don't know if my coaches and management knew, um, but yeah, that was, oh, that was tough. I said, I felt it, like someone died. Yeah. It, it, like I thought to myself that that is always tough on a fighter. I've talked to other fighters that that's happened to, and they're never happy about it. I was going to yeah. ask you, uh, usually fighters, like they do like a quick turnaround when stuff like that happens. Was that more just because the holidays were there and you're like, you know what, I'll just take this time to spend with my family. Like you were saying, or was it the camp was hard and you're like, I'm just going to, uh, take the time off to recover my body and then go into another camp at the beginning of the year. Yeah, I think it was more. And then just them finding a card, like they, um, they didn't really have anything set for me. So, um, you know, it, they were looking at possibly coming in uh, and doing the Hawaii card again, which would have been amazing. But then I would have had to wait another month. But I'd rather get in sooner than later because, I mean, if we can bang out three this year, that would be amazing. Um, so, you're coming up on almost what a year on not being being in the octagon. So mm -hmm. take, taking that year off, like, did it? Did you find anything with taking that year off that benefited you as a fighter? Like, were do you feel like you were able to grow in that time from from just training and stuff like that? Oh, absolutely! Like, I went to Texas um, twice, um, so I was able to go for the last camp and then um, this camp as well. So training is never wasted. You know, you go down there and like, I just felt like I was having kind of a blockage here. So I went out to Texas and then I had things explained to me just maybe in a different way. And I've evolved so much as a fighter, as a person, everything. Mm -hmm. When you're, uh, when you're getting like, so you have, I believe you have once one submission and one finish by knockout, right? Or was it, it was TKO. You have two finishes, correct? In Bellator. Yeah, in Bellator. Well, well, I lost my first one, and then the second one. Yeah, because you're yeah. three and one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, you're kind of a young fighter. Like, I guess my question to you is like, um, how much? How much do you think since your first Bellator fight to now, things have changed for you as a fighter? Oh, it's like night and day. There is like there is no doubt in my mind that I don't belong here. You know, and I, I think I was questioning that, especially, you know, I got signed, I dislocated my elbow and then it was like, I didn't get to fight till a year after signing that contract. So I think also at that point, they were like, you need to prove that you just still deserve to be here. So, um, I think I put a lot of pressure on myself and now I don't feel that pressure anymore. I'm just, I'm so grateful for these opportunities. Are you, would you say you're more comfortable comfortable on the feet or comfortable in your in your ability on the ground or is it kind of like a mix of both? A mix of both. Um, I don't like being on the bottom. I don't like playing jujitsu in MMA because it's not fun. <laughs> Mariah showed everybody that. Um, that's not at all what I like. But I mean, I love like the dog fights. I love aggressive. I love you know, like I've never even thrown an elbow in a fight. So. I think I'm going to throw it a little. <laughs> so you're, you're, you're looking to, you're, so this fight's exciting for you. Cause you're, look, you're waiting to see like over what you've learned the last year, what you can bring to the fight on yeah. next Friday. Yeah. I want to show everybody. I'm like, I, I'm like, I'm so great at what I do. And I just, I, I'm excited to have the opportunity. I can, I can tell you're eager. 
<laughs> I could tell. Yeah. When you're so like next Friday, for instance, your fight's up next and you're getting ready for a fight and it's almost time to walk out. What emotions do you feel? Because I've talked to other fighters and they're like, I don't feel anything. I just go in there and I just fight. And then some some fighters are like, well, I'm nervous until that my opponent punches me in the face for the first time. And now I'm mad. So then it's time to go to work. What do you what do you feel? I haven't I haven't. I've. Uh, no, actually, no, I have been mad in a, in a fight. And when I was mad, I did not perform well. I know that getting angry isn't the right choice. I've had a fight with Sumiko. Sumiko punched me in the face and I was like, good one. I don't want to do that either. So like, <laughs> I need to find something in between, which is, you know, it's more of like, I'm thinking of my daughter. I'm thinking of my coaches and I'm thinking of my teammates and everybody who put in their time for me. And I want to show uh, I want to showcase my skills and show them my gratitude by performing um, to my best abilities. Randy, when you when you get to fight week and like camps over and you've cut the weight and like, is it kind of a mental relief that like, OK, the hard part's over now it's time for the fun part? Or is it may or does the mental I guess does the mental relief and like do you get a mental relief when the fight's over? Yes. When the fight is over, I'll say like I. Um, I love fighting. I love training. I love all that stuff. When I get hit, like, uh, I don't know if you ever read about my accident. I don't have feeling on the left side of my face. Yeah, so we like talked about that last time. I, yeah. Yeah. We're so it's that. like, it's, it's fun. And you know, but the thing is, is that I would say that I, I hate fight. I hate fighting. Maybe. I don't know if I hate the fight, but I love everything else about it, you know, but going in there, like, I hate that. Like, you feel like you're going to, you don't know if you're going to shit or vomit. And it's like, just get it done and then when you win it's like oh! yeah no i i hear you completely i i I don't know what it would be like because i obviously i don't fight for a living but i don't know what it'd be like to to like mentally physically just all the emotions that you guys have it's just like insane to me but you know i don't want to keep you too long but i just wanted to ask you i like to humanize athletes and kind of get away from fighting like what are some things that you enjoy doing with your family outside of the sport like what did you do this last year for instance is there anything exciting that you did with your family or by yourself or um to be honest like just spending time uh painting all these uh me and my daughter I just booked a trip for her and I had to go to Cuba so um it's just like really spending that quality time together and um you know like uh when I'm not in fight camp I, my family time like the little things are so important to me. And I think that's what's very important um, when doing this is like, you know, we appreciate all these big things that happen, but like what I hold most value is the small things. And that's, you know, just time spent with my family, um, whether it's watching a movie or painting a picture, like that's what I love to do. Yeah, I agree hundred percent. That's kind of the same thing with me. I want to say like outside of work, like family time is, is really, really important for me, you know, it's at the top of my list, but Hey, Randy, I just want to thank you for your time. It's always a great time talking to you. Uh, I'm thank looking you. forward to, you know, seeing where your career goes from here. Uh, hopefully your fight's safe this time. Uh, yeah. But if there's anyone you want to shout out or anything like that, feel the pleasure to do so. Well, I've shot out a couple people and now I'm going to give a shout out to my daughter who keeps, she wants to say, hi, come here, come here. <laughs> Come here. She's scaling all over the floor. This is my baby girl. I want to Hi, give a nice to meet you. Come here. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Now she's playing all shy. She's doing the worm behind me. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> I can't see oh. the background. Uh, I could just see you, but the background's like blurry. Yeah, I figured that out before we started these interviews. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where can where can they find where can the people find you on social media? I would say. Um, Check out my Instagram. It's just Randy Field. Um, and then, I mean, if you want to see some more exclusive stuff, some of my training videos, you can check out my OnlyFans. It's right in my link tree on my bio. Great. You can find me on Instagram at The Real Combat Lounge. My personal Instagram is at Cade Morehouse. Twitter is at The Combat Lounge. Randy, like I said, it was great talking to you. Best of luck next Friday. And like I said, I'm looking forward to watching you and see how your career goes. Awesome. Thank you so much, Gabe. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we'll talk soon. Yep.